Yeah, I lost my driving privileges on base for 60 days because they wanted to search my truck, and I gave them permission to search my vehicle because you're you're supposed to allow them when you come on a military sure. installation. Well, they told me to open up the doors and the hood of my truck, and I told them, uh, no, you can search it, but you, I'm not going to do it. And they said, well, you have to do it. And I said, well, show me a regulation where it says I have to open up my vehicle. I said, because if I was a criminal in handcuffs, you guys would search my vehicle. Yeah, if you're such a danger in procedure right. anyways, well, you, you, they're supposed to stand back and they're supposed to do it anyways. <laughs> I, I mean, this is ridiculous. So it, it would be indentured servitude. So what happened? Well, I uh, refused. I said, you have permission to search my vehicle. Well, the the security forces supervisor came out and the security forces, there was five guys and they just they just stared at me. They couldn't believe I said no. I said, I didn't say no, you couldn't search my vehicle. I said, I'm not opening the doors for you. And they said, well, you need to because we feel uncomfortable. And I said, what are you afraid? Uh, you're going to break a finger now. Oh yeah, they told, that's well, the they're said. already getting ready to brand it over to the military. Yeah. God bless you, and I appreciate your call. I wish I could get to Ron and Jared. I bet they've got even more, but I've got to hit this final news item. Ron and Jared, call me back tomorrow. We'll do more of this with military and police calling, and it's always great. Yeah. And actually, I'm always... I mean, they actually talk or are a lot more focused than, you know, just even just a random average caller. I guess because they've lived in the real world. It's good to hear from them. But uh, we're hearing about this AWOL soldier arrested over concerns of possible second attack on Fort Hood. But then meanwhile, at the Fort Hood shooting, it turns out the government was protecting this guy for two years. And Amar al Alaki that secretly hangs out at the Pentagon was running him. So, but, but, but here's the report today. Obama to approve Al-Qaeda embassy. That's in quotes. French news agency reporting in Washington and admitting that it is real Al-Qaeda is the group that we're funding against Qaddafi. What's your take on that, Sheriff Mack? Well, that goes back to truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, I, I, still, uh, I'm, I, I still think of Josh every time you read that. You're just reading the news. And what's he going to do? Spin that to say, well, no, nah, everything's fine. No, I'm sorry. Uh, everything's not fine, and we need to change what's going on. Absolutely. It's, it's a uh, Professor Griff, a quote in, in the Obama deception. He, he goes, listen, I'm saying something to all the black people out there. Right. He goes, you think just we got a black president, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be just fine. No, everything isn't just going to be all right. It's not all right. And look, you have to be involved. You have to be jealous of liberty. As Thomas Jefferson said, you have to defend that jewel because that's the jewel the criminals are after. Criminals get control of government. They're God. We'll be back tonight, seven o'clock with a bunch of special guests, PrisonPlanet.tv. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?